inside the volcano. Nice. It's, it's coming together. Even though I know where to find her, I'm still gonna ask him. Where can I find Mission? There's a lot of references to like Morrowind and the Elder Scrolls in this. Like, there's that Kalo Nord guy, and there's that woman in my first recording session, and her last, like, her surname was Yurt. <laughs> So where can I find Mission? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity. Yeah, that's those two. From before. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. So she's moved. Oh man, is it going to be hard to keep track? So I need papers to get past him or I'll just kill him. To get to her then I need her to unlock the door and get me into the hidden bex be no to get into the uh the other gang's base I need to steal the prototype plans for the accelerator swoop bike bring them back here uh hopefully win the race and then if the other guys uphold their end of the bargain I'll get Bastilla back I'm hoping the uh, the journal is gonna record all this because I sure as hell is gonna I'm gonna miss something. I've got to pass the upper city guard, no problem. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the undercity. Yes. They never made it, and their security <sighs> papers fell into my. Yes. Since we're working together now. I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. See, what do I do now? The clothes... Ah, damn, my shoulder. The, uh, the Sif uniforms I've got now, they look pretty good, but the stats... What I've got now is pretty much the same, if I remember. And I think I've got a little bit of ar armor to give Kaf. Oh, he looks angry. What do you want to do with the Sith uniforms? It's still of your business. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Liar! Oh, man, I don't know what to do. Wait! He's tricking me! I need the uniform and the papers to get past him. So... Oh, that frame rate. Oh man, I don't know. Oh. Well, maybe I just need the papers. Okay, I'll trade the uniforms for the papers then. I think that'll work. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I want to ask you some questions. Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. That's exactly what I was thinking. What's up with your freak? The eyes, old man. Uh, very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zedra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. Cool. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulkers. What do you mean? When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch-rivals, the Black Vulcans. A lot of the younger gang members followed him. And soon, he and his followers That's their phone name. control of the Vulcan gang. Sounds like Brezhik is acting like a spoiled brat. Brezhik is a proud man. 
My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Valkyrs. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know you're right, Zerdra. Brezhik won't rest until I am dead and the Bex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. I want to ask you something else before I go. Your time would probably blah, be blah, blah. going after the prototype swoop. You said you were having problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit and run guerrilla tactics. Whoa, to pick I've seen them this, off. sorry. Don't fool yourself. Yeah. But so. You're yeah. Perhaps. It's because I'm not paying too much attention, but. Why are the Brigitte and the Volkers at war with you anyway? When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, but with my ocular in, in a rage, he left it. Brezhik is a proud man. Yeah. My decision was a public humiliation. Don't Damn it, I just read that. I'll be going now, Gadden and Zedra or something. Goodbye. Feel free to come back anytime. We're not like those Vulcan savages. Strangers are welcome in the Beck base. Not a good idea. Items received, items lost. Boom. Can I speak to you before I leave? You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got... Okay. Uh... Okay, it's locked, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, this ain't locked. Look at that techno music coming from douche, douche, douche. I want to see who that. What? What's this? Nice. And I'm not stealing, apparently. Yeah. What about these random guys that work for you, Gaden? I can't believe that Trader Brezhik used to be one of us. Gaden may be old and blind, but I'd rather follow him than a turncoat like Brezhik. Yeah, he's definitely got a lot of respect for that old man. Oh man. Yeah, let me turn down the music as I said earlier. What am I doing? That's not that it. Yeah, that that should be enough for now. Advanced. For software. Yeah, I was right in the last recording. There is EAX in this game if you have the right sound card. Not this one. This is just a very generic um, Sigma Tau Audio HD one. Which it actually doesn't sound too bad. But uh, I am going to try and get a new computer soon. I'm looking at some creative titanium. XFI HD sound card or something, something really high end to, you know, give these headphones a really good sound quality that it that they deserve really. But, uh... It's been updated, right? So now I need to go back to no, not there. I need to go to the Undercity. The dude's at the end, right? I'm going in the right direction. You see, I would have went in, a, in in the wrong direction if I hadn't have checked. Gotta keep quick save him. Whoa! Was that a swoop bike? By the way, I go. Nice sound effect. Oh, 
Why does he look so angry? Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? <laughs> I'm always up for it. I just want to know why you distrust me so much, Garf. What does it matter that much? Why can't you just leave it be? I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons. Which are my own. We have to work together, Garf, so it has plenty to do with me. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Tell me! Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud of serving them. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? What do I have to do with Malak? And Riven. Riven. It's not that. It's that's not what I mean. There, there were there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark yeah. side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no oh, mercy. Pissed. You set up with such hatred. Ah, ah. I know. I'm. And I should apologize to you. I've, I've Stop looking so at my chest, Cough. Others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. He has got the best voice acting in this game, Cough. I swear. But I mean, uh, acting and voice acting really isn't that different, you know? Acting, you've got to all dress up and everything. Voice acting, you could be wearing some hobo clothes. You haven't shaved in two days, you know. Off topic. Good one, James. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Shh, can. I've got the papers. I've got my security papers right here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. What about ask questions first, shoot later? You're gonna die! Whoa, why did it pause? Oh, that was me. Calf, what about your health? I really wish um, our health could recharge very slowly. At least after every fight. That would be cool. It would give us noobs a chance. But, uh, let's see. You there, upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. <laughs> yeah, I know. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Ah, uh, that. Five credits. I'll give you fifty. Shut up. What about that? Who are you? What are you doing here in the Undercity? of Warcraft. We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by those who yeah, dwell Yeah, above. yeah, yeah. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. Doesn't look like we one. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Hmm. You poor wretches, here's 20 credits to buy some food and clothing. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars gave Is everyone that in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us no, are you're not. People. Your clothes aren't I'm right. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's James Shepard. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. 
I was born here in the Undercity. Wow. Is it as nice as they say up there? <laughs> uh, it's nothing special, really. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Only in the dreams. The leader of our village tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. No. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil, who's that? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. The Promised Land? What's that? The land above? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. We can actually. I'm not here to do that, but it wouldn't hurt. Where can I find Rukil? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. Damn! The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land. But he's really just a kind old man. Gendar, what the hell is that? Where can I find Gendar? He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? Also, if you realize, I've stopped clicking on the responses now. I'm starting to actually click the the corresponding um, numbers on my keyboard. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Who the hell? Have you seen any other upworlders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Tell me about this village. I'm kind of curious now. Well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really liked to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. True. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but... Most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. Thank you, you've been very kind, but I have to be going now, and if you need any help, I'll give you some credits. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. That's the impression I got from her. She was al almost too amazed to, you know, uh, see and speak to people from the upworld. That's what I got from her anyway. Did you still see me? Yeah. Uh, can I walk? Oh yeah, that's it. Still walk a little bit. Whoa, that's the grass. Oh, it actually moves. Not bad. So I need to find Mission Vale. Vale. With that Zalbar Wookie. Big brown furry guy. Somewhere. Let me speak to her. The rat ghouls will devour us all. Unless we starve to death first. This area actually reminds me of... Uh, 
Oh, what's that DLC in Fallout 3? Broken Steel? I don't know. It's been a long time since I played that. Perhaps another future LP in Fallout 3 and all of the DLC. Yeah, that would be actually kind of cool. It won't be blind. I've done the whole game, but uh. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Turn back. Danger and suffering? What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rutgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rutgalls, we'll let them destroy each other. There must be something someone can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the Rakgul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into Rakgulls and attack them at any moment. Proper British accent. So you'll just let... So, you, so, so you'll just let the infected ones to die? Leave? You're a coward! I can't help the infected ones. They have to die so that the rest of the village can live. I accept this. If you think that makes me a coward, so be it. Your voice acting spoiled that. Goodbye. Farewell. Can't see the